We'll stay with this particular story and speak to Mafiga Mdebele, who's the ANC provincial spokesperson, and we'll also be in conversation with Mzwai Blossom. And, uh, of course, speaking about this very issue, and certainly quite a big one, um, as we are looking at what has transpired during the course of the last few days. Let me start with you, um, Mafiga. Firstly, your response to what the court had to say when it comes to the urgent interdict. Uh, I think you're on mute. Uh, sorry, sorry for that. I'm saying evening to you and uh, and your listeners. Uh, first and foremost, you will be aware that uh, the march was uh, that uh, or the protest was that of the ANC Youth League, mm -hmm. uh, a youth wing. However, as the ANC Youth League, we applaud our youth wing that they were able to listen to court of law appeal uh, that particular judgment, take it within the court ambit, and ensure that uh, on this day, the march goes ahead. And uh, it's not for the first time uh, that Papas uh, try and use uh, court to prevent South Africans from uh, expressing uh, their feeling. We, we know he does this because he's the uh, grandchild of uh, those who have advocated for laws such as the Group Areas Act, uh, laws that separated our peoples, uh, laws that prevent the gathering of our people, and as a result as the ANC, we see nothing wrong when young people want to gather and express their unhappiness. Uh, only God knows why is the uh, purpose and the DA-led municipality trying to run away uh, from this uh, particular protest and to be accountable to the people because all public servants must be accountable to the people. I'm going to come back to that in just a moment. Let me bring in uh, Mazui into this conversation. Mazui Blosse, EFF Provincial Spokesperson. Mazui, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Firstly, for you, as the EFF, uh, I wonder what has been your response when these allegations emerged? Well, thank you very much uh, for having us on the show. Uh, I mean, as the EFF, we fully support um, the investigation that is going to be put on purpose. We believe that as a mayor and a public servant of the people, he must be held accountable for his actions. Mm -hmm. In fact, so these now are no longer even allegations because he was on one of the SABC radio stations and he, he agreed that he knows that there is a company that is called uh, Umgeni Tourism. That is uh, uh, directed by his fiance, and they funded the, the company. So it's no longer even an issue now of allegation. There's even a confession. So Chris Pappas must face the music, and there's no amount of running away from protest and all of those things. He's going to be held accountable. His color of his skin is no longer going to be able to protect him now. As the EFF, we're observing the, pro the, the process, because what we know in this country is that if the accused is of the color of white, then the narrative always changes. And we know that if Papas was a black person today, the hawks would be uh, after him. So, so as the AFF, we are saying we're observing the process, and then we are also even speaking to our lawyers to mm -hmm. check if are there any criminality that is going, that uh, criminal cases that we can pursue against him. But in the issues of nepotism himself, there is a confession, and he must be held accountable. The public protector must be able to do its job. So I'm going to stay with you, Mazui, um, because I was listening to that particular interview on Okoze FM, and some of what he said, is that uh, I'm sure you heard him saying that Nina, um, is it because I was named the premier candidate but then he also continues to say that these particular companies the three of them were doing business even before he entered um, the Umgeni municipality as the mayor and he says that this predates him I wonder what do you say then to that no, but that necessarily what nepotism is. That's why we are saying that we are looking further into terms of then can we investigate in terms of corruption allegations. But nepotism is that he, he comes in as a mayor, knowing very well that his fiance has got an NPO that is funded by the municipality. So he should, when he came in as an accountable person and a responsible somebody, he was supposed to say that I'm now the mayor of Mgeni. My fiance is doing business with Umgeni municipality. It is going to be unethical for me as a person to continue that the municipality I am leading is continue to giving money and funding businesses of my fiance because in turn that money goes back to him. Because they are sharing the same, so they are, so he's taking municipal resources, giving it to his fiance to go and fund his lifestyle. Because the fiance comes back and gives this money to him. That's what nepotism is, and hence we are saying that he must then be held accountable for that. But to then further the probe, to then say 
we must actually investigate if this uh, NPO is even worthy of getting these funds because they call it umgeni tourism, mm. which then means it has a sense of entitlement to it because that white whiteness does it feeds entitled to to things that they are not entitled to. So let me quickly go yeah. to to my figure. My figure. One of the things that uh, you know today was said by the the, the DA leader John Stenhays in, in response to what is happening around uh, um, Mayor Papas. He says that uh, he is the ANC's worst nightmare and he is delivering services to majority black people. People, and uh, he is, of course, being kind of, you know, um, you know, being unfairly um, criticized here. And, the, and uh, Francois Rogers saying that these particular allegations are unfounded. I wonder how does the ANC respond? Look, uh, before we, we, we go that, uh, let us clarify a few facts. Um, on, the, on the NGOs that are given funds, only the NGO of the fiancé of Papas received 100000 Others receive 10,000 a month. And uh, on the 11th of December, 2022, when Papas was a mayor, uh, when the municipality had only one week to close, uh, they were forced to then give that 100,000 extra. Um, and then we must also separate that uh, we are not speaking about uh, one uh, uh, fund. Mm. The fiance is also the chairperson of the tourism, what to call a uh, uh, board which is an NPO of the municipality. And even on that NPO, he continued to award uh, himself what you call a fund under a company called GSC, which uh, he's, uh, the fiancé is a sole owner. Let us uh, go to laughable uh, allegations that uh, uh, Papas is the worst nightmare. Uh, I can tell you, uh, Papas has uh, less than six year experience only two years uh, in, in the legislature and then he resigned. DA does not take our people uh, uh, serious. Umgeni is not delivering. I think we must do our research before we speak. As we speak, the financial report of um, April 1, 2023, identified Umgeni as a municipality that is on red tape. And uh, Umgeni is one of the worst performing municipalities and they do not have the necessary finance. The hype that is created is created in order to make Papas some kind of a white messiah designed to rescue black people. That is why not long ago, Papas tried to prevent a uh, premier imbizo, and then he was even involved in some incident there where the premier have called people of Umgeni who up until today continue to suffer under white people uh, in their farms and papas want to use and want to charm our people with only what you call zulu uh, language and then would weaken them unsuspectingly and there is nothing that can make an anc with season and experience uh, leaders to fear papas whom have turned umgeni municipality into nothing else but a love bonanza even so, now, as we are speaking, as I, I, as I go to a uh, conclusion, there are allegations that Papas is with, uh, was with another uh, boyfriend of his uh, on an overseas trip on taxpayers' money. All what we are saying as an ANC is that uh, if those are the allegations, let us subject them to investigation. Let us not pre uh, what you call uh, preempt the outcome and let us not protect uh, Pap Papas. And surely, let us not make Papas a white messiah. All right, let me let me leave it there with you both for now. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but let's see what happens with this particular story. And we'll also be in conversation with the Democratic Alliance to get their reaction to a lot of what has been said about this particular story. That is Mafiga Mdebele. ANC provincial spokesperson, Mazui Plosse, um, EFF provincial spokesperson. So certainly a lot of, uh, you know, talk about this particular story. When you listen to what uh, Mayor Papa says to say on Ukos FM, that interview, he says that um, for him, the NPO submitted their proposals and they then um, got an allocation based on that. But there's a lot of talk even about how this particular matter was handled, how it should have been handled even to begin with.